Okay, let's dive into my salon and see how it's set up. So first up, we've got the bath. No explanation needed, we're washing dogs, a bath is essential. In the bath, this here is a pedal pump with a homemade nozzle. It recirculates the shampoo mix at a high pressure into the dog's coat with squeaky clean results. It's hardwired into a big switch for safety. And we've got a noose there if required and then of course the shower which is a standard electric shower for filling the bath and rinsing the dog. This is the big blaster which is a double motored blaster. Over onto the table where we've got a h-bar and a neck noose, um, my happy hoodies which are hung up there, um, ear defenders for when we're blasting. These are my clippers, we'll come back to those later. This is my stand dryer, it's actually a combi dryer, so it's a blaster and a stand dryer in one. If I change the nozzle here, it turns into my stand dryer, it has several speeds. And then we've got a box of treats, I've got a section on my grooming form, which asks the owner if I'm allowed to treat their dog. Uh, comb attachments, you will not be doing a fluffy cockapoo without these. In my top drawer, I've got my brushes. Lots of brushes, many I don't use. I'll go through my go-to shortly. So let's put these up on the table. My next draw down is my Cleany Teeth Drawer, which is the ultrasonic toothbrush. It's really effective if you know how to use it and it's very popular. This one's got the toothpaste and spare heads. Next drawer is the Crap Drawer. It's, I've got a muzzle, which I've never used, a spare set of clippers, dryer nozzles and an old diary. And then we've got clipper oil and spray. These are absolutely essential. I use these daily to clean and oil my blades. Card reader, not essential, but actually a lot of my payments are made on this. This is a low pay reader, and microfiber towels, and my dehumidifier, which I've found since getting my dogs dry so much quicker and my windows don't steam up. Shampoo, which is always a personal preference. I've got a deep cleanser and I'm currently trialing Banish, which has added conditioner for my poos and feebles. Then we've got an Aquasorb or a chamois, it's the holy grail, if you don't have one, get one. They take so much water out of the dog before blasting. <laughs> really good bit of kit. Uh, this is a mixer bottle, um, I use this for my teeny tiny dogs and puppies so as not to scare them with the pump. And then I've got a range of other shampoos and colognes I don't use but fancy buying at the time. And then I've got a rubber dustpan and brush, and a broom, and a floor mop thing. So let's have a look at my equipment. Cordless clippers. Corded clippers do the job just fine, but the freedom and ease from these makes so much difference. These are the Oster 3000i, but there are loads on the market, and again, it's personal preference. Double-sided slickers. I've got a doodle brush here, and a medium brush. These are really, really good. I've got an undercoat rake and then the toothbrushes for cleaning my blades and my clipper head and of course nail clippers which are again essential and the comb. Zoom groom is not essential but incredibly handy. Let's take a look at my blades. I literally only use these blades. I've got a 40 for pads, I've got a 30 for under comb attachments a 10 for sanitary areas, a 5F for spaniels, 7F for clip-offs and terriers. I do have a couple of new ones, which includes the 4F, which I may or may not use. And then onto my scissors. I've got my workhorse scissors and my finer scissors. My rose lines here, these are my workhorse. 
um, and then I've got my Gibbs, which are finer scissors, wherever they are. Oh, there they are. I also have a very cool pair of chunkers, which is for taking out cockapoo and doodle bulk. That's it.